Welcome back. Stasa23 here, back again with some knife therapy. And today's knife is a budget folder from K Bar and designed by custom knife maker Jesse Jaraz. Uh, this is the model number is number 7505. Uh, you can pick this knife up at GP Knives for around $38. And if you buy it from them, it comes with the proprietary pivot tool, which unfortunately I didn't get it from them and doesn't come from most of the other dealers. I don't know if they're the only ones or not, but if you want the the tool, buy it from GP Knives. Uh, this this knife was designed by uh, designed to look like Jesse's custom Pulsar model. Some quick specs on this knife. You got a blade length of three and a half inches of Aus 88 steel, which is adequate steel for a budget folder. Um, the total length on this guy is 8 inches overall. It's uh, got a hollow grind from about halfway up the blade. So it's not the, the thinnest knife behind the edge, but it definitely be good for some you know tougher, tougher hard use task if that's what you use your knives for. Um, they got the K-Bar stamped on this side. You got Jesse's logo and name right here. There's your model number made in Taiwan. You got dual thumb studs. You got road jimping that, eh, it's a little grippy. Not, not, not over grippy and not super, super slick. Um, it's got a nice uh, sharpening tool right there executed just right. But one thing I noticed right off the back, the, the uh, primary edge, the grinds just, kind of wonky as you can see it's real thin right there and it gets bigger 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 and then thins out at the tip and just the opposite on this side you got a wide bevel right there and gets thinner at the top something that's easily fixed but I will say it came super sharp out of box I just got this uh, a little while ago just wanted to get a first impressions on it super super sharp definitely great working edge um, and, you know, if that, if that grind bothers you, then maybe you might want to stick away from this one. Uh, the handle scales <laughs> are GFN, uh, and they have stainless steel liners, the stainless steel liner lock. You got tip up, tip down, um, pocket clip. Sorry, lefties, there's nothing on that side. Uh, the retention is good. It's got nice spring to it. Slides in and out of the pocket fairly easy with this slick GFN handle. Like I said, I just got this knife, so it the it will be shipped to tip up. And I primarily, you know, I don't care about tip up or tip down, but when I put it in hand, it's about the ergonomics for me. And for right now, I know currently with this knife uh, in the tip down configuration, it, it gives me a hot spot from that spoon up on the clip right here. But as you can see, you definitely have room for your thicker materials. And you got also Jesse's logo uh, laser engraved into the uh, clip, kind of like on his customs, or on most some of his customs. Um, I wanted to check this knife out because I have Jesse's Model 75 custom. And the ergonomics on that knife, it's a smaller knife, but the ergonomics are just excellent. Just one of one of the best ergonomics in hand knife. And this one's a little bit bigger, so I have some a little bit extra room to wear a medium sized glove. So as you can see, I still got some hanging off. So if you have a larger hand, this knife should should fit you as well. Um, the the weight on this guy comes in at around 5.3 ounces, which isn't terrible. It's definitely doable, like I said, for a nice hard use knife, or if you're gonna be using this. You know, with the price tag of being, you know, right around 38 bucks, uh, I know I'm not scared to use it, and it, it's going to become a, a daily user, you know, when it, in, in the daily user ro rotation that I have. Uh, let's get some quick size comparisons. You got first your Boker Quaken. These two are pretty similar in size, as you can see. The Quaken is a hair bigger, not by much, but pretty close. Uh, let's see, also got the Spiderco Spidey Chef. Um, <laughs> these two have 
close to the same handle size. These are these are definitely close to. It's hard this hard to tell because this upsweep blade kind of throws throws a optical illusion on the on the uh, camera. Let's see what else I have by me. Spyderco Pingo. It's a modified one with modified scales. No, I didn't do these scales, but the dude did. It's great. All right, there you go. So it's definitely a lot larger than the Pingo. And one more, the Boker Lateralis, which is a pretty big folder. Not not overly big, but it's a big one. So it's a little bit big. I mean, it's a little bit smaller than the Lateralis. There you go. And like I said, I bought this knife because I already owned Jesse's uh, Model 75. And if you own the 75... This is the size difference. They have a lot of similarities. The handles are pretty much identical. Uh, let's go pivot to pivot. As you can see, the extra length, I'll put it, swap them up so just in case that's playing a trick on your eyes. You can see you got a good bit of handle. <clears throat> pretty much the handle ends where that, that last uh, screw is, but very, very similar. Uh, the ergonomics are just about the same. As you can expect, uh, one thing else I like how he puts the lanyard, he puts a lanyard post, so it pretty much disappears in the knife. And see, they both got pretty much the same thickness. the 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 curvatures are all done the same. Um, nice and contoured scales. I don't know if you can see that really well. It's hard for me to see right now. Two great knives made by a great maker. <clears throat> uh, like I said, this is just my first look at this knife. Once I've had some uh, more use on it, and I can give you all better representation on the knife itself, I'll definitely do my full review on it. Like I said, the action, especially for the phosphor bronze washers, I mean for the uh, Teflon washers, the action is very snappy. Uh, I can slow roll it, which I enjoy doing. And I'm, I'm interested to, to get it out and get some use on it. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. And let me show you the centering. The centering's a titch off on the right side, but not bad. It's probably something I can adjust once I make myself a tool. That's something that I don't really like, that you put a proprietary pivot. It's almost like you're hiding something underneath there, which I'm sure they're not, but probably a design, a design feature. Um... If you like this video, please subscribe. If you like like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, whatever. Like I said, I'm coming up on, <clears throat> I'm getting close to the 500 subscriber marker. As soon as I get closer to that and uh, make up my mind on what, what kind of prizes to be given, I will do an official announcement on it. Y'all guys have been great. I want, I want each and every one of y'all to know that you know, y'all ought to feel good because y'all have done something good for a person. Y'all have made my life so much more enjoyable and better just by the comments and the friendships that I've made here. So if that means anything to any of y'all, you should definitely feel good about yourself. Uh, I love each and every one of y'all, and I love talking to you guys. So feel free to... Leave me comments, talk nice, anything you want down below. And hope everybody's having a wonderful day. And remember, guys, live every day as if it was your last. Peace.